No, it is welcome. I think where the concern is from young people is there's kind of a lack of detail of exactly what that looks like. So she's talked mm -hmm. about, you know, tax cuts. She hasn't necessarily said what percentage she'll bring down income tax. She's talked about, you know, obviously looking at VAT reductions, etc. That's all welcome. The thing is that obviously they need the detail. You know, if it's only going to be, say, a 1% reduction, is that really going to be, you know, much help to people's energy bills going up by, say, you know, £1,500 in the next kind of month? So, of course, everyone welcomes that she's going to, you know, give support, but they're concerned that there's a lack of clarity and is actually concerned that when she arrives as PM, she's going to realise that all of the big promises she, she made hasn't necessarily been costed and maybe she's going to have to roll back some of those big promises. Yes, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? Because up until now, um, what she's, uh, the way she's been pitching her whole argument has been to try and win the votes of the Tory faithful, the mm -hmm. people who had a vote. Yeah. But from tomorrow onwards, she's got to be thinking about the next general election, hasn't she? She does, she does. And I think this is a big issue where I think she's been very popular with the Tory base, but I think the rest of the country aren't necessarily feeling you know, that inspired. Let's remember that obviously she didn't resign, she's supported Johnson throughout. That's not necessarily going down you know, very well with the country. And I have to say, actually, we polled young people on who they prefer, and they do actually prefer Rishi Sunak. So it's going to be quite interesting. So why do you think that is? Because, I mean, when it certainly comes to the... And, again, we don't know for sure until tomorrow, tomorrow lunchtime. Mm. But the, certainly from a lot of people who've got in touch with us, mm. they say Rishi is almost too polished. Mm. That seemed to be the impression. Yeah, and, and I, I do agree with that, but I think... From their perspective, they actually appreciate that he did resign. You know, he took a stance. They feel like Liz Truss kind of just goes with where the political narrative is taking her. They don't necessarily feel like she's that authentic, whereas, you know, Rishi Sunak, I'm sure you could argue how authentic he is. But I think they feel like he's more of a details man. Liz Truss isn't. So, you know, obviously, you know, both have their, their flaws. But I think overall, young people probably are going to support him more than her, which is interesting because obviously she's set to win tomorrow.